Hi, I'm Mac McCarthy, and I help people with their breakups. And today, I have another breakup story to share. And if you have a breakup story you want to share, visit writemac.com. Send your story in. Could give you my take just like this. Or if you'd like to book a live coaching session, that's available. We could talk on FaceTime, unpack your situation, get some clarity moving forward, which would be nice. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, that's fine. If you want to subscribe, get updates when there's live streams, hit the bell. Otherwise, make a comment down below and let this individual know that you're there for them or you want to help them out. So, hello, greetings from Atlanta, Georgia. On that midnight train to Georgia. I'm going to try to make this as short, as simple as possible since I've noticed that you've had a lot of YouTube videos on females who have gone through breakups while pregnant. Well, this is not where I hang my hat. I answer as many breakup stories as possible to give different perspectives and every story is different. By the way, when someone declares that they're gonna make it as short and simple as possible, it usually means it's not gonna be short and simple. So here's another one as well. I'm currently nine months pregnant. I am due with a baby boy March 27th. Well, congratulations, because having a baby is a privilege and a blessing. My boyfriend broke up with me two months ago out of nowhere. I've been very traumatized by the whole situation because he discarded me as if it was nothing. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. At this, at the same time, as time has passed, I feel like it was a blessing in disguise, though, because he did not treat me the best throughout our relationship. We were only dating for two months. When I found out I was pregnant, which already changed a lot of the things, obviously, as soon as he found he was making plans to move in right away, was very excited, etc., doing all the things things a guy that's happy about a pregnancy and relationship does, which kind of scared me because I barely knew him. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, what do you want? You have to be honest and upfront with him that things are moving a bit fast. This wasn't planned, but you appreciate the fact that he's all in. As the months passed, I became more clingy and needy, and I feel I pushed him away. Okay. A month before it was time for him to move in, he started acting very distant, bringing up stuff from the past that had nothing to do with the present time of how well our relationship was currently going. Okay, so I don't know what those specific things are, so I can't really elaborate myself. We did argue a lot more, so because I would tell him how I would feel about certain things, about how just because we're pregnant doesn't mean we still can't go out and enjoy ourselves and have a date night. Okay. Fast forward to two months ago, he insisted I came over to his house Wednesday the week before he broke up with me, which I thought was kind of weird. He initially started an argument, kept trying to push my buttons, verbally abusing me to get a reaction out of me, looking for all possible excuses not to move in. Do you want him to move in? It sounds like you don't, it sounds like you have questionable uh, feelings about him moving in from the get-go. And you have questionable feelings about who he is as a boyfriend. It was a very bad argument, and we both said a lot of things to one another that was, we probably didn't mean. But at the same time, I feel like he said a lot of things that he wanted to say, but he couldn't communicate them to me much before, such as he didn't want to live alone with me and be away from his friends. Okay, so you're assuming some of that. But bottom line is you said some mean things to each other. You guys were highly emotional. We ignored each other for a week. That weekend, he told me over the phone that he just wanted to be co-parents and that we weren't compatible. Okay, bottom line is, at the very least, he's stepping up and saying, I will take responsibility as a parent, but we aren't compatible. Now, that, that's going to hurt you. It doesn't make you feel well, but that is his first and foremost responsibility as an adult that has a baby coming along. I never really saw a real connection with us anyways, but at this point that I'm pregnant and it's easier for him to walk away than it's me, obviously, especially the last two months before I'm due. Well, if you don't see a future with him either, you better get started by being co-parents and doing the best you can. You shouldn't just try to make it work because you're pregnant. If you, if you guys are already at each other's throats, you don't get along, he made an effort, you made an effort, it didn't work, but he's saying like, look, I'm going to be there and be responsible for the kid. That's his number one responsibility. The next week, I saw he went out, was partying on the weekends, trying to hook up with other girls. Well, he currently is single. You shouldn't be watching him or looking into it. If you weren't pregnant, would you have as much a problem with it, would be my question. Um, even tried reconnecting with a girl he had hooked up with right before me, and I called him out on it because I noticed he refollowed her on Instagram. Then he instantly blocked me on Instagram when I called him out on it. Okay, why... Uh, 
this is an individual that you don't see as compatible also, right? So are you bitter and upset because currently you're pregnant? You don't have the freedom that he has. This is a question on the accusation. And he stepped up and said he's going to be a parent and he's going to be there, but you two do not have a future together. Um, you, f you do not want any access to what he's doing on his own time because currently you are not together. I reached out to the girl. She said he had tried hanging out with her back in August when we, we had already been dating for two months. At that point, he knew I was pregnant. Okay, so you just got some clarity that he's a weasel. He went behind your back, but you are not together currently. You do not want to make this a regular practice that you're going and looking at who he's being with, who he's talking to, because currently you two as a couple aren't official, period. The idea that he has a responsibility to be a parent, a financial responsibility, a mutual responsibility to be around that kid is absolute. The idea that he needs to be uh, your partner and not see anyone else, I think that's questionable. I brought it up to him. Of course, he denied it. At the same time, we were supposed to go to a parental class together as co-parents. He totally ignored me, didn't show up to the class because he was avoiding the fact that I found out some truth. He's been avoiding me ever since. I found that out that I feel like there's a third party in the picture. Okay, so you guys need to have a serious sit down and you need to stop making personal attacks at each other. You need to stop contacting women he's dating. You go, look, we need to sit down and have an adult conversation about how we're going to move forward as parents and put this baby first. I realize we're not compatible. I realize you're not into being in a long-term relationship with me, but how are we going to make this work? Where, where are you going to take responsibility and me take responsibility? The girl he tried hanging out with back in August is also the same girl that causes an argument between us in the September when I was DM him saying congrats on the baby which is fine, but he replied back with, thanks, missed you. She blocked both of us on social media and both of our numbers because she didn't want to be a part of it. I don't blame her. So I'm confused. The whole situation from someone that said he loved me so much was talking about marriage the week before and then threw me out the window like it was nothing while I'm pregnant with his child. I mean, if you rewind your story, and this is why it's good to write a story because you can get some clarity up here. I was pregnant, which already changed a lot of things, obviously. As soon as he found out he was making plans to move right away, move in right away, was very excited, doing all the things a guy that's happy about a pregnancy and relationship does, which kind of scared me because I barely knew him. As the months passed, I became very clingy and needy and pushed him away. I pushed him away. Okay, so you played a role in this and you weren't all in as far as him being all in at the time he was. I'm not blaming you. I'm just saying that this relationship on both sides wasn't highly desirable by both of you. It wasn't ideal. Watching your last video, the couple had been together for 10 months and obviously don't expect everyone to get married and move right away just because of a pregnancy. That's how I was feeling as well. Well, good for you because that's, that's a big deal because I don't think you have to get married. So you're going to be miserable parents in the presence of your child. That's not a good alternative. Two wrongs don't make a right. Like most women, do I become, do I became in love with the idea of him and wasn't really present for the reality of it? Never planned dates, never took me and I paid for a lot. Well, bottom line is if the pregnancy wasn't here, you wouldn't be with this individual. And so your expectations are higher because you're pregnant and you're highly sensitive. I'm with you. I got compassion for you. But it doesn't change the fact that you guys are currently not compatible. He's, he's not in any shape or form willing to be with you long term. And then the fact that you, go, you went out and um, played detective and found people he's dating and called them out on social media, that's going to push him away even further. But like I said, you need to have an adult conversation about your roles moving forward. Majority of the stuff in our relationship, I paid for us to go to New York City for his birthday. Okay, you don't get refunds on that stuff. A baby, a baby moon that I, th I thought would be very fun right before the baby. Three months later when it was time to go, New Year's Eve, he hadn't even saved any money for it all. I ended up paying for the Airbnb as well since he couldn't pay for it anymore. Well, again, he's telling you who he is. I mean, 
you can you can complain about this, you can be upset with this, but just put it in the Rolodex, put it in the storage bin, and go. All right, I'm never, I'm not putting myself in a situation because this individual is broke, and I don't want to pay for them anymore. Just don't let it continue to happen. He has not bought one item for his son's room yet claims it's because he does not have the money. Yet he blocked me on Venmo. Uh, when you get to the point with this, you need to seek legal counsel once you have the baby and. If he's not stepping up, you need to, you know, go through the legal process of making money that he makes available to you. So I couldn't see his spending habits at all. I also found out that he has recently invested more money into his car. He was supposed to sell, not to mention he already has another one too. Last week, we finally started talking on a mutual basis about him coming over to put up the crib and took a class called Daddy Boot Camp just for dad, sent me the certificate for it, yada, 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 whatever. I still don't trust him. Okay, bottom line, you don't trust him. What are you chasing? Fine, don't trust him. If you're going to go no trust, you still need to have an adult conversation about your roles moving forward. If he says he doesn't have money, go, look, I'm going to talk to a lawyer. I'm going to see what my rights are. But moving forward, I need you to contribute. This idea that you bought things before in the past, that you paid for this, you paid for that, that all ends today. For his son, the whole month, he ignored me him though because he hasn't really bought anything to the table for his son the whole month he ignored me he didn't even ask how his son's development was going i'm beginning to think that he's doing all this stuff now trying to make it seem like he cares just so he can split custody and avoid paying child support when he came up when he came to put up the crib last friday he walked out so you're assuming the worst would it be that bad if you split custody i mean if he's Actually making an effort putting a crib together, would it be that bad if he split custody with you? Is he an individual that's danger to the kid? Walked out and left after I told him I wasn't sure if I wanted our son to have his last name anymore. He blocked my... That's a serious thing. He's upset by it. He blocked my number, reached out to my grandmother and called her and told her what happened. Also told her that I was harassing him with a bunch of text messages, which I will admit I did. It was very immature of me when he blocked my number. I sent him at least 25 different text messages of random pictures and deadbeat dead dad mammies. This is not going to help your situation. You're pushing the situation and making it worse. Tell him that it's a shame that he's punishing his son for his actions or just because he simply can't get along with me. You just said you were immature. Very immature. You need to have a reality check with yourself. And like I said, put your baby first. Have an adult conversation that you, you two aren't going to be together at this point. He's done some shitty things, but him wanting custody, him maybe wanting the kid to have his last name, those things are negotiable. And for you just to say, no, you can't, this is going to create more and more animosity and trouble, and it's not going to be good for your kid. You need to meet each other halfway on things and negotiate this thing. Because right now, um, these th the perfect life, the dad, this, it's not going to happen. So you need to do the best you can with the best intentions for your child. Telling him that it's a shame that he's punishing his son. I'm not sure why last name is such a huge concern to him based on his actions showing he doesn't care. Well, you're not sure, but I mean, you're just assuming that, what were your intentions by changing the last name? Ask yourself that. Were they, were they to hurt his feelings? Were they to get a reaction out of him? Or you really just don't want the kid to have his last name? He doesn't care at all. A part of my, my, me feels bad for not letting him have his dad's last name. But at the same time, I don't want to regret it later on down the road, especially when he hasn't brought anything to the table yet. So you need to tell him what you want him to bring to the table specifically. It's not going to be partnership. It's going to be possibly 50-50. I mean, tell him what you want. Stop making accusations and stop accusing him of things and going after who he's dating. I really don't know what to do right now because he's making threats saying that if I don't give him his son's last name, that he wants nothing to do with him and won't get anything from me. Well, that's, that's tit for tat. I feel I can't trust his true intentions of why he wants his son to have his last name, especially when he mentioned getting him 50-50 after he is six months to avoid child. Are you assuming that he wants 50-50 child support to avoid paying child support? Are you assuming that? Or is it a possibility he really wants that? I don't know the laws or rules about who gets to choose the last name. But you guys need to have a serious adult conversation and you need to ask yourself, what are your real intentions by not allowing that last name to be what it is? And if that's a situation that's going to hurt 
this individual from being a better parent, then you need to really ask yourself, where are your intentions? So I hope that helps you. Please visit rightmac.com if you have a breakup story you want to share or if you'd like to book a live coaching session.